Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here at Seafoam Island. Um, so here, Pokemon found, um, of course, you got Jinx. Gosh, Jinx. I'm going to actually hop off of Doug for a little bit. Right now. Anyway, um, there's Jinx. Slow bro is here. Slow poke. Um, Golbat, of course. Gosh. I think I got Repel somewhere. Um, and actually, I think in the bottom floor, that's where you find Articuno. Of course, we're not going to catch the birds in this episode. Just because if I catch one, I need to go ahead and try to catch them all. What I'd rather do is, like, have a specific episode for that. But actually, go ahead and battle this guy here. Um, who do I have leading off my party? Um, I think we'll leave Peaches up. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so yeah, um, this is basically a good place to get some ice types. Um, Jinx is here, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Golbat. Um, Articuno's in the bottom. Okay, honestly, let's get a nasty plot. So maybe I can take out this person's team just with Peaches. That's what I want to do. And whatever it went for, we, it missed. So, uh, probably, probably a Thunder. Missed a Thunder. And we flinched it, so... Good. But yeah, Jolteon does have decent special defense for its stats, though, so that's why it took a little bit to take it out. Um, this person has all the evolutions, it looks like. Flareon does have decent... I think the Kanto evolutions have good special defense, actually. Of course, um, Vaporeon is the best special defense out of all of them. It's not like they're, like, frail on that special defense side. Um, trying to think, what which one's probably frail on that side? Maybe Leafeon? I think Leafeon is the most frail on the special defense side. Because I know it's more of a physical Bulkymon. And Vaporeon is here, so just Thunderbolt this thing. Um, usually these guys give you some good... Good goodies. Honestly, don't know what person will give, though. Maybe a TM. But usually they give you a TM that all their Pokemon know. Oh, oh just rare candies. Um, I mean, it's not the worst thing. Alright, come on. Titan. Oh, let's grab this. Um, escape rope. We got so many escape ropes. Okay, you battle. Okay, you talk to him for Pokeballs. Um, Alright, actually, I'm going to go ahead. Come on, Sophia. Yeah, alright, now we go around here. What you... You have to A for it to do anything. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm actually going to go around so I can do the same thing from this side. Because right there, you can see there's a pillar there, too. I'm going to actually do it one down a floor and then go to the other side down a floor. That way I don't end up, you know, falling into something. I don't know some puzzles. I don't know if it's this one. I forgot which Pokemon game it was, but there's one puzzle in here where you have to do that to prevent a current. So it's probably best to do it that way. But anyway, um, like I said, this is actually where you find Articuno as well. Um, I do like Articuno. We're not going to do it this episode. It has to be its own episode because I'm pretty sure 
it's a pain to catch the legendary birds. Um, honestly, I feel like it's probably more of a pain in this game than the other Pokemon games. Just because you have less variables that you can control. Um, and you also have motion controls that can throw you up, too. Um, but anyway, in this, yeah, like, in this, you don't, you're not able to paralyze Pokemon, put them to sleep to catch them. Let's, yeah. I do prefer, um, battling wild Pokemon for, you know, catching mechanics. Actually, I can just go down the ladder and see what it looks like. I don't jump down into a strong current. I bet there's something up here. Yes, there is. Okay. There's something up that way. There's like multiple multiple paths down. I'm gonna take this one. Take this one so I can see what I'm working with. Because it's closer, I'm sure this is where you'd want to go down anyway. Actually, no, you want to go the other way to... But yeah, you can see there's two there. <gasps> yes! <laughs> ice Beam. I love this move. I feel like one of the best moves. The best Ice-type move. I don't know which one I want to go down. Just go down here. See what this leads to. It might lead to a dead end. But I don't want to leave any part of this area untouched. I want to be able to say that I got all this stuff. Yeah, right there. Currents. You can see the water's moving pretty fast there. So this puzzle does use currents. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing you want to block that so you can go over on that side instead of being pushed downward, which... Um, let me grab this hyper potion. I don't know where the current will push you. Push you down into another area, I guess. Oh, we used all the normal repels. No, I've got more. Well, actually, let's use up the supers. So here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one seems pretty easy. Seems a little bit trickier on this side. Um, can't use this one at all because it's up against the wall and there's no way of getting behind it. So you want to push one of these down here. I think... Okay, you want to push this out of the way. So that way you don't get yourself stuck. You want to push this one up. Push this one down. You can get behind it. Don't push it anymore, because then you can't get behind it at all. Yeah, just push it. There we go. I'm just going to let those go down there, though, because I don't want to jump down those holes yet. I'm sure there's another path to get down there. Yeah, like up there. I want to I go back up and push those others. Try to get those in position. Another. That's up. That's how you get up. We're gonna go ahead and do that. What the heck is this? It's like a dead end. Um. Okay. I don't. I don't get the point of that one. It's like a spot with a complete dead end. But yeah. Oh, you want to go over on the other ladder. So yeah, that, actually I, I do feel safe because we saw that um, that's not water right here yet. There will be water, but not as of right now. Go up here. So we can go around the other side. And we're about to run out of repel, so hopefully we don't get overwhelmed by Zubats. Because I can see that happening pretty soon. We're just going to go down this hole until we're right next to it, because I know we can at least do that.
There we go. We can go down there and see what we're working with again. Go ahead and do that. This item here. Got herself a super repel. Where are they at now? Now they're in. Nice. Actually, I can go down one more. I'm sure there's something here. Is there anything else down here? Okay, so... Here. Okay, so that's actually where we got them down earlier, so... You'd have to done that before you got up here. The dead end. Alright, we'll go around back up. You might have noticed some wings up there. That's where Articuno is resting. But we're not going to go and confront Articuno yet. Like I said, I want to do that in another episode. Because if I go and confront it now, it's going to be the whole episode of me trying to catch it. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to go... Go down here. And we can go over here on this area, which we weren't able to before. Ultra Balls. We got Ice Beam. This is where you get Ice Beam. I knew this is probably where you got it, because it's like an icy cave. It would make the most sense. Um, but here we are. I think this is our way of ascending out of the cave. So this is actually pretty simple. Um, I mean, if you're not careful, you can end up getting stuck. You just jump down the holes without, you know, pushing the rocks down there. But if you make sure you push the rocks down there, you're pretty safe. Back out on Route 20. Uh, we can battle this guy. Or girl. What, why did I say guy? Um, but anyway, what I want to do is actually get to Cinnabar Island. Finish up battling the other trainers. And then, you know, we'll just get back to Cinnabar Island so we'll already be ready for the next, next episode. Just Dark Pulse this thing. Yeah, that does the trick. That was even a crit. Probably didn't. Probably didn't matter. We'll switch. I want to bring up Titan. I got something in my eye, by the way. Oh, I was... Actually rubbing my eye, so I didn't even see it said gloom. I'm not too concerned. We can ice punch. I want to put ice beam on it, though. I knew you could do it. Yeah. I'm glad you don't know Mega Drain, brother. But yeah, we can just finish this off pretty simple. Okay. Wiggly tough. I'm gonna stay in so I can hit it with a flash can. Yeah, Titan's going to be really good for the next gym. Really good. Almost took it out. You're going to mimic, it's not going to matter. And yeah, now what? Uh, you're gonna do flash cannon? doesn't matter. I'm going to take you out with one more. I know in Pokemon X and Y you can pet your Pokemon after each match. But I can't pet my Blastoise here. 
All right, let's grab this item. A heart scale. Ooh. So I'm guessing there's a mover learner here somewhere in this game. Um, but let's go ahead and give Ice Beam. Get rid of Ice Punch. Who can learn Calm Mind? Of course, Sophia can. Dragon Pulse Titan can learn that, but I don't really need it to. We've got Ice Beam for dragons. Um, Aerodactyl can learn it. Doug? How? What? Doug? How do you learn Dragon Pulse, Doug? I don't get that. Alright, let's go ahead. Alright, so let's go ahead. Who do I have up front again? Um, Peaches. Put Gengar up front. Let Gengar get caught up. Alright, Beauty Hansel. Oh, bro. We just... Honestly, that could go for a Shadow Ball. I just... Shadow Ball. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so it should be pretty simple getting us through this little area. As of right now, we're still a little bit over-leveled. I'm going to hold off catching Pokemon for a little bit, though. The way the levels will... Balance back out. Let me grab this. I gotta battle this person up here. And I can battle the guy behind him. I love bird Pokemon. I'm sure you do, kid. Alright, Roger. You got a Fero. I'm gonna show you a thing. About flying types. They don't like electric. Don't tell me you got something like Drill Run. Boom. Pharaoh's gone. There we go. Just another Thunderbolt. Alright, um, pretty simple. Honestly, I'm going to hold off from using Blastoise, because Blastoise is going to be very good in the next part. Um, also, Aerodactyl is going to be good, too. Both of those are going to get a lot of experience in the next few episodes. Actually, especially Blastoise, because not only is Blastoise good against the next gym, it's going to be good against the gym after that. How's it giving me a boost in attack? I don't need that on Gengar. All we need is special attack and speed. Alright, come on, let's go surf to this poor guy here pruning in the water. Wimmer Dean. He's got a Starmie. We can Shadow Ball that, actually. Save our Thunderbolts. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're like 10 levels ahead. Um, I'm hoping... You know, because you actually get more experience from catching Pokemon. I found that out. Um, I was like, you know, I'm going to try to catch some Pokemon to do like a... You know, competitive mods, you know? I was going to try doing that, but they level your Pokemon up so much when you do that. So, yeah, your whole... That's that's why my team's so over-leveled now. We went from being under-leveled to over-leveled. Cruel. I can actually, um, hit a Thunderbolt and go for a Psychic. That's what I'll do. 
Pentacruel has good special defense, though. And it actually lives. Huh. And we just do another Psychic. Nice. Okay. Alright. He called me Wimpy. And he's the guy that's got a booger in his nose. Okay. There's two of them right there. Like, as soon as the repel wears off, the tentacle come out to play. Tentacle is the Zubat of the water. Alright. Pignaker Missy. She has a Jolteon. She actually has some good pokes. Or one good poke. <laughs> this is the only one. She put all of her effort into getting her favorite electric type. I got a Jolteon plush myself. I actually used Jolteon in Season 2 of the PGBL. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon. I like it. Um, but in the NGDL, I instead decided to use Mega Manetric because it's faster and hits harder. But yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead. I want to grab the item, too. Grab it first, then battle lady. There we go. What'd she just say? Did she just say, check out my pearls? No, lady. Alright, cloister. Oh my gosh, is this like a an inside joke that they just did? Got a cloister, some lady talking about her pearls. Alright, lady. Keep your keep your um innuendos to yourself. Sophia's level Look at Sophia! Wow! I haven't used Sophia in such a long time and she's still leveling up like crazy. Like, crazy. I'm going to talk to this person again see what they say. What? Uh, no answer. There's Cinnabar. So, looking at it, we only got two more trainers. Yeah, we only got two more trainers, and then we're in Cinnabar Island again. Of course, if you didn't do what I did and went to Cinnabar Island as soon as you got Surf, through the Pallet Town route, and um, this would be your first time stepping into Cinnabar Island. But I, I did that because I needed the Aerodactyl to finish the team. Yeah, because I love, love Aerodactyl. It's actually been a good Pokemon. Like a really good Pokemon. Alright, Jinx. I'll just go ahead and Shadow Ball this one. Jinx is such a weird Pokemon. I mean, it's like got a dress as a part of its body. In Pokemon Stadium, when it fainted, it would like... It would like pull itself into its wig as if like the wig was actually its main part of the body or something, you know? It's like weird. A weird Pokemon. Alright, so this guy here, he's probably got something pretty tough. But yeah, Ace Trainer Marty. He's got Golem. Um uh, I might actually switch. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch into Titan. I need to give Gengar a name. I knew I knew earthquake was going to happen. All right, 
let's go ahead and just stalled. That'll take this thing out pretty easily. Okay. Alright, so Titan level 53. Look at that. Look at those stats. Enter. Um, going hard Doug for this one. Because Doug is kind of falling behind, too. We're just going to Flare Blitz. I really do like Pinster, though. Alright, so... Nice. Alright, so... We're here. Cinnabar Island. Oh! I didn't even notice that. Wow, Sophia, you caught that. Here we are, back at Cinnabar Island. I think the door is actually locked. Yeah, quiz time. Where's the key? And that's what will let you in the gym. And the key is actually found over here. At the Pokemon Mansion. Are you going to say anything about it? Oh, that's dark. Oh, there's an item over here, too. I didn't even notice it the first time I came in. But anyway, this right here is the Pokemon Mansion. And that's where we're going to go next. Um, we're going to actually go heal up first. But, um, at least we know what we're going to do next episode. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.